Hey guys, it's Tommy from MobileTechVideos.com and today I'm bringing you a ROM and a flash review of IC Screwed version 2.0.1. Like I said earlier, this is IC Screwed version 2.01, and this is brought to us by JIV26 on the XDA forums. And he and some other people have thrown together this ROM, and um, this ROM has quite a bit of features, but there are certain aspects to it that I really don't like. Um, I'm going to get into those towards the end of the video. But right now I'm just going to review and tell you all the features and what you can what you can expect if you install this ROM. Um, first off, out of the box it comes rooted, DODEX, and zip aligned. It comes with a KH7 modem, um, the SIA kernel, which I really am not liking so far. Um, it removed bloatware, and here's another thing that bugs me is the Go Launcher implementation. It's this app that's on the market and they've used this as a stock launcher for their ROM and this is only for version 2.0 that they've done this. Previous versions used I think TouchWiz like just the standard TouchWiz but now for some reason they put this as the default. Um, for some people I think they might like that for, but for me I really don't like it. Um, and also they added a volume button to take pictures uh, you can opt for the option for the CRT screen off slash on animation and um, also they've added the ICS Roboto font um, personally me I can't see this at all in here it looks exactly what it like what standard stock looks like but I'll take their word for it um, you get accurate battery mod um, NFC support you get a fully customizable lock screen Wi-Fi and USB tethering are enabled and you don't have to go through AT&T's service to get it. Um, you have auto, well, ad blocking and um, some other features and the full list will be in the description under the XDA link. And now uh, let's take a look at the actual ROM itself. Um, like I said earlier, it has the Go launcher and you have all these little uh, options that I, I don't particularly prefer but you have all these down here and um, let's take a look at the settings uh, this isn't um, ice cream sandwich this is actually Android 2.3 um, which also kind of bugs me but there isn't much you can do right now because of the development and there isn't really an official version for the Galaxy S2 yet um, but I think overall this ROM is stable and it works well for some people. Um, like also another thing that bugs me is they've implemented um, Google Music instead of the stock music app. And as you can see, I'm running the I'm I'm at 1.2 gigahertz, like the standard stock, and you can see how laggy this list is of songs. It's just I don't like this app at all. I mean, you might use Google Music, but for me, I don't use it at all. I just download my music from a website and use the stock music app. And um, they've also updated the camera, as you can see. It looks a tad bit different. It has a little bit of an ICS theme to it. Like, see, so you have a blue capture button. And anyway, also, this ROM does have really good battery life. I have to give them that. Uh, I've used this. I've used this version for about three days now and I've gotten really really good battery life and I'm not sure if that's from the kernel or the ROM and here's another thing with the kernel um, I use a CPU app and um, it it allows me to underclock and overclock the phone whenever I want to and whenever I was using Entropy's kernel on their older versions it was seamless it worked fine I could drop it down to 500 megahertz just to save battery and if I needed to play like a really intensive game I could bump it up to 14 or 1600 and but with this I think there's like a confliction with the kernel and whenever I drop it down sometimes the phone crashes the app won't load up and whenever I overclock it sometimes I can't get it to go back and forth and it's just 
it's not it doesn't work well with the kernel and I don't like that because that's the app I use as a CPU tuner and you can find it in the market but it just it doesn't work well with that like the Sia kernel I think it's the kernel I'm not sure if it's a kernel the ROM doing that but that's one of the conflicts there are and I feel sort of gypped with this ROM I mean for you looking at it 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 might look you could I don't know it, it's for some people I think for me I really don't like it and but also they've added this JK settings which is um, they've had this in their older versions and I really like this app and it lets you basically customize everything on the phone which is really nice and this is probably their this is what you should want this ROM for is the customization like up here you can change all the icons up here and it's slidable and like for me I did data sync background data and flashlight and flashlight is just a little LED light on the back and it lights up and you have lock screen options status bar you have time battery percentage auto brightness delay like you can see all this you can change the lock screens there's the lock screen themes and there's a whole bunch of stuff and it's really customizable and like I said earlier this is only for some people. For me, not so much, but for you, maybe. Um, I'd suggest checking this ROM out, downloading it, easy installation. All you gotta do is pop the .zip file on your phone and install it from uh, uh, Clockwork Mod, and you're up and running. And um, I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, this is Tommy with MobileTechVideos.com, and uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and maybe check out this ROM, and if you like it, donate, and uh, have a nice day, and goodbye.